Are you looking for a quick and tasty way to get some more vegetables into your diet? Well, today's cauliflower rice bake is gonna do just that. We're gonna use frozen riced cauliflower for this. I'm gonna add some potatoes to this to give it a little body, some greens, some garlic, a lot of good stuff going on in there. We're gonna finish it with a little bit of cheese on top, Swiss in fact, and a little breadcrumb topping. Guys, you're gonna love this. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. Okay, we're gonna start off here with chef joke number one, and we'll have number two a little bit later. All right, why did the bee buy a phone? to cauliflower. We're gonna start off here by defrosting our cauliflower rice. This is frozen and it makes it very easy to work with. I have a medium sized frying pan here over medium high heat. I'm adding some olive oil to it. And then we're gonna drop in our 12 ounce bag here of cauliflower rice. Now I'm heating this up according to the package directions and it should take just a few minutes. I'm gonna scrape down the edges here to kind of break up the cauliflower, that way it just gets going a lot quicker. Now once you get the cauliflower to this stage, you're gonna to want to continue cooking it until all the moisture is evaporated out of it. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to this. All right, it's been about five minutes and it looks like most of the water has evaporated. I'm gonna turn the temperature to low. So now I'm gonna add a couple of cloves of garlic and I'm gonna use my garlic press here and just put it in and press it through and cut it off with my knife. Stir in that garlic for one minute. Then we'll pour that into our baking dish. I have an eight by eight here. Now, I said I was gonna make or add some potatoes to this. You can use, I'm using red today. These are organic. Uh, you can also use gold or white potatoes. We just need a little bit of this. I'm not adding a lot. I don't want it to be a potato casserole. This is a cauliflower rice bake. So I'm just adding about a cup of potatoes. So I'm gonna cut the potato in half and then we're gonna cut it into a very small dice. Once you get some nice thin slices, then we'll rotate it and cut it in the other direction. And then I like to run my knife through it again because some of these pieces are still a little bit big. Now we're gonna go right back to the same pan. We're gonna just leave the cauliflower in there, it doesn't matter. We're gonna add some oil, a couple of teaspoons anyway, to the pan just to kind of coat it. Let that get hot. I got it over medium high heat. I want it, I want it pretty warm. Here goes our potatoes and we're gonna add some salt. We wanna salt each layer, so we salted the cauliflower a little bit, and now we're gonna do the potatoes a little bit. I'm gonna put a lid on this. I'm gonna leave the temperature on medium, and then we'll check it to see if we need to turn it down. Because we cut the potatoes as small as we did, these are gonna cook up in five minutes. Okay, it's been three minutes. Let's just have a look and see here. We only have the lid so that it helps cook the potatoes quicker. Now, I can see there's a little bit of brown stuff going on. You see that? Flip them over. I'm gonna turn the temperature down now because I'm starting to get that crispy edge. I don't wanna get too hot. We'll put that on for another two or three minutes. It should be ready. All right, it's been six minutes. Let's see what we got. We got some nice color going on here and that means flavor. So it's gonna add more flavor to our dish. Let's uh, poke it with a fork. Find a nice big piece and see if it's done. Oh yeah, it's good. So we're gonna take this and put it into our cauliflower dish. There's a little bit of excess oil in the bottom of the pan, but I'm not gonna add that. And then give this cauliflower and potatoes a stir. Okay, it must be time for chef joke number two. Here we go. What do you call a cauliflower growing at the edge of a garden? A border collie. <laughs> All right, so now it's time to add some dandelion greens. Mine are a little wilty, so if you have some older greens that you wanna use up, and this is a great recipe for that. Now I gave these a little rinse, and I'm just kinda dry them out a little bit so they don't get a lot of water in my dish. I'm just gonna chop probably that much, okay? And then I'm just gonna chop this up into nice little small pieces. And like I said, these are a little bit bitter, but they're gonna lend themselves nicely, nicely to this dish because we've got a little bit of sweet yogurt in there with the vanilla. 
It's not very sweet, but it's just got a hint of sweetness, and this kind of balances that out. So I'll chop it up nice and small, and I'm going to add it to my dish. Next, we're going to add our vanilla yogurt. This is full fat, which seems to make it nice and creamy, and we're just going to mix that in. Now spread everything out nice and evenly, and then we're going to top it with some Swiss cheese. Now, theoretically, you could use any cheese you want, but the Swiss adds a nice little tang to it. I'm using Aaliyah's original panko breadcrumbs here. To this, that's about a cup's worth. I'm going to add a teaspoon of oregano and some dried basil. And mix that into my mixture here. And then I've got my melted butter, so I'm going to add that. And you just want to stir that up until it kind of looks like wet sand. And then we'll sprinkle this right over the top of the casserole. I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is going to cook in the oven for about 15 minutes or until these breadcrumbs get a golden brown. Now here's what it looks like when it's ready to come out. It's nice and golden brown and underneath it's nice and bubbly. So you want to let your casserole cool for just about five minutes uh, before you serve it up. That way it can firm up a little bit. Uh, the flavors in this are so nice. It's subtle. Cauliflower doesn't have a lot of its own flavor, so it takes on what you, what you give it. So this is nice and slightly sweet from the vanilla yogurt. And you get a little bitterness from the greens and the cheese, so it's a nice balance of flavors, and it's got that nice buttery crunch at the end on top. If you like veggie recipes, you're going to want to try my veggie quesadilla. Click the link here on the screen, it'll take you to it and you can try it out. It's going to rock your world. Thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed today's video, smash the like button for me and leave me a comment. I always love to hear from you and maybe you might even have a recipe request. Thanks again and we'll see you back here next week for another rockin' recipe.